tomorrow morning. How much money will you have in your purse or wallet? I'm talking about real cash here, bills and change. Well, if you're like most people, you probably rarely use this stuff anymore. The man you're about to meet says cash is a relic of a bygone era. And tonight I investigate the end of cash. There's something going on at this Fred Meyer store. You can hear it. You can see it. Looking at the checkout lines, I notice it. About 80% of customers no longer use cash when buying their groceries. They do it electronically. I'm surprised it's not more. Portland author David Wolman says our days of using cold, hard cash are numbered. He wrote the book, The End of Money, and he makes a strong case for getting rid of cash. People understand the value of electronic money in their everyday lives without even thinking of it. And here's something else Woolman says you don't think about when using cash. Number one is that it's filthy. Germs, bacteria. Woolman says paper money is like passing used tissue paper from person to person. And have you ever thought about the true cost of money, printing it, putting it in circulation, transporting it to banks and millions of ATM machines? Woolman has. It's like $150 billion a year, about three times the budget of the Department of Education. Could you live your life going totally cashless? Thousands already are. I only use debit cards and, and credit cards. I, I don't use cash at all anymore. And technology is making it easier to go without cash. Would you like actually the, the smaller size or the bigger size? Portland is known for its food carts, but even here on the street, you don't need cash at the PETA Express. A device called a square allows small business owners to swipe cards using their own cell phones. Not all customers are comfortable with that. A lot of people don't like, you know, running the credit card, uh, you know, um, maybe on square. They don't feel comfortable because I have to take the card from you and I have to swipe it. And it's, you know, I'm putting it on my phone. A lot of people, you know, especially I think the, uh, you know, the older generation, they're, you know, a little bit scared. And that brings up the best argument for using old-fashioned cash. There's no question that you can touch it, you can feel it, you see it. Cash is trusted. Brian Rice heads up Key Bank in Oregon and Southwest Washington. He cites a recent study about what the wallet will look like in the year 2020. Most experts agree with Woolman. Cash will be dead. But? A third of them, however, came back and said, no, cash will still be here. And the big reasons for that were users' comfort level with that financial data uh, going out over the internet or over a mobile device, as well as their habits being traceable or, or more public. But those concerns aren't stopping the move to go cashless. Your cell phone is now becoming your mobile bank. We're passing in front of a Starbucks. What can we do here? Well, <clears throat> already at a place like Starbucks, there's an app for, for paying. You know, so you top up your account, you walk in there. I can see my Starbucks account, just wave it. No need for cash. In just a little over a year, Starbucks says 45 million customers have used their cashless app. And here's the future. Imagine paying your babysitter by holding your phones together for an electronic money transfer, tipping your waiter the same way, or... It'll be an interesting time when my children receive tooth fairy money electronically. <laughs> Many years ago, people thought it would be the end of the world when they put radios in automobiles, right? Gradually, people realized it is not the end of the world. You can use your phone to buy stuff. And, you know, everything won't come crumbling down. Okay, what do you think? Will one day we be cashless? Well, go to our website, coinlocal6.com, and comment. We posted the story along with a web-only extra. My interview with David Woolman, he talks a lot more about it. And he talks about his new book, The End of Money. Also, you'll find a link to David's blog. Now, I have heard yeah. that the tooth fairy <laughs> did get one of those little squares, and she yeah. put it on her phone. She can do So it. she can take the money and give the money now. That's She's classic. going high tech. I will tell you what's rare that I have any kind of money in my cash He never has cash, at all. ever. You've got too many Here. kids. I borrowed yeah. this from Bruce. Here you go. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that is, it's real mind shift, though. It, yeah. it, it, it is. It's amazing. Uh -huh.